really sorry if my camera is doing the weird filtery light thing. It's usually when the sun is coming in weird. It like picks up the dust in my room. I know that sounds disgusting, but it like makes weird circles in my lens. So if it's doing that, I'm sorry. I don't know how to fix it because I'm technolo technologically, that's the word I'm looking for, stupid. So I'm sorry. <laughs> Hey guys, it's Jay, and today I'm here with another unhaul video. I think this is number three on my channel, I'm not 100% sure. But I decided that I needed to get rid of a couple of books so that I can make room for new books. Because we know your girl's got a buying problem, and she keeps buying new books even though she doesn't have room for them. We're gonna make room, slowly but surely. Most of these books are books that I just didn't really enjoy, or I have no interest in rereading them. Without further ado, let us get started. The first three books that I'm going to be giving away to my thrift store, which is where all of these books are going, or I might donate them to my mom's work. They have like a little library and you just bring books in and people can take them whenever they feel like it, bring them, you know, trade them, all that jazz. So the first three books are part of a trilogy and it is the True Blue Trilogy by Joyce Scarborough. I read these. I gave the whole series overall a 3 out of 5 stars. They're good, they're cute, but I'm never going to reread them, so I didn't really see a point of having them on my shelf. If you want to see like my full thoughts on all three books, I have a review, so there you go. Check that out if you're really that interested. The next book I really did not like. I gave it a 1 out of 5 stars. I, it was just so boring and slow, and it is Are We There Yet? by David Levithan. I have like a love-hate relationship with David Levithan. Sometimes I love his books, sometimes I hate his books. I hated this one, so I don't need it on my shelf. Next book is Updrift by Aaron Stevens. I read this book like a while ago. I have a review if you want to see my full thoughts of it. I think I gave it a 2.5. For most people I think it would be a 3, but I had some issues with it, which you can look at the review if you want to know what they are. But I'm never going to reread it, so it's going. Also, if you like mermaids, this is a mermaid book, if you couldn't tell by the cover. So maybe you could check it out and you might like it, but was not for me. The next book is Tales of a Haunted House by Frank Carcota. And this book is just so short that I don't need it on my shelf. I'm never going to reread it. Like, it was an okay book, but, like, I have no interest in it anymore. I don't want it on my shelf. Not that it takes up a lot of room, but still. The next book is Monument 14 by Emmy LeBourne, and I did not like this book. It was so repetitive. Like, at one point, it was sitting there, like, telling us that the bus is on its side, and then two sentences down, it was like, the bus is on its side, and it's like, yes, I know the bus is on its side. And then, it was like, in brackets, like, a couple lines down, remember, the bus is on its side, and it was like, oh, my god, thank you, I realize now. Because I didn't get it the first 20 times, but now I know the bus is on its side. So I'm just, I'm over this book, and I just, it needs to skedaddle out of my life. Next book is And We Stay by Jenny Hubbard. Hubbard? I honestly, I don't know. Hubbard, Hubbard? It's one of the two. I don't know. But I really loved the cover of this book. I think it's so pretty, but the book was so boring. Literally nothing happened. There was no plot whatsoever, and I was just... I was just done with it before I even started. The next book is Dark is the Sea by Heather Blanchard. I've recently read this book, and again, I love the cover. I think it's so pretty and I'm really upset that I'm getting rid of it because I just want to like rip the cover off and just keep the cover because I like it so much. The book was so boring like it, and it was so confusing and I just know. Just know. But like it's one of those like butter covers that's like so soft and you just want to rub your face on it at all times. I swear I'm not weird but... The next book is called Kiss Me Kill Me by Lauren Henderson. Still don't know this author's name because she's still irrelevant to me because I hated this book so much. There's one point in the book where the main character is calling her supposed best friend an American butch, and that's like what she refers to her by the entire book. And I'm like, she's supposed to be your best friend, what are you doing? I, like, personally I don't call my best friends American butches, I call them by either their name or some cute nickname, like Honey, or something like that. Like, wh what? And I just, I hated this book. And there's so many, like, issues, like there's, I just don't like it. So it's leaving. And I just, I'm done with it. The final book, I hated it so much. Like, you guys don't understand how much I hated this book. If you're interested in the issues I had with it, I'll leave the Goodreads review down below. But I gave it a 1 out of 5 stars. Honestly, if I could give it a 0 star on Goodreads, I would have. But, like, I'm pretty sure you have to rate the book something for it to, like, count. Or, I don't know. I don't know. But I hated it. It's The Little Woods by, by McCormick Templeman. And this book has so many issues in it. Like, just, 
I don't know how it got published. I don't know how it got published. So, like, I'm kind of, like, contemplating just, like, throwing it away so that other people don't have to deal with it. Because, like, it... I just know. But I don't know if I'm gonna donate it or not. But it's just... It's not a good book. I would not recommend it. Don't read it. That's all. Alright guys, so that was my unhaul video. There's not that many books this time. I'm sure as I read more, I'll get rid of more. Because I never seem to like books anymore. I don't know why, but I'm having a terrible like reading year so far. So hopefully it turns around. We'll see how that goes. Let me know down below if you read any of these books and if you actually enjoyed them. Because I would love to see what you actually liked about them. And I will see you all in my next video. Goodbye!